How did the Soviets view prostitution? The early years of the Soviet Union was full of new ideas well ahead of their time, especially when it came to family, sex, and women's rights. With the likes of Alexandra Kollontai and Anissa Armand, these kinds of ideas were taken seriously. Following the revolution, the sex workers themselves established trade unions and local authorities under the Commissariat of Public Health took proactive measures to address the issue of prostitution by introducing transformative cooperatives aimed at offering alternative employment opportunities for those marginalized individuals. Ultimately, the Soviets had introduced a new analysis of prostitution. It reasoned that the prostitute was a victim of economic circumstances. This new mentality was well explained in the pamphlet Soviet Woman by Rose Maurer in 1944. It says, The basic Soviet slogan, fight prostitution, not the prostitute, was in itself a recognition of the social roots of the evil and a radical departure from the traditional mode of regarding the prostitute herself as legally culpable. Soviet experience demonstrates the close tie between women's economic insecurity and prostitution. During the dark early years of unemployment, prostitution increased. The end of unemployment brought prostitution to, almost to an end, in the mid-30s. Although this strategy failed to eliminate prostitution, it did reduce it, and specific laws actively prohibiting prostitution were not even introduced to the Soviet Union until 1987. 